Today is day seven of Lightroom tips for wedding and portrait photographers. So we've been going through several how-tos within the develop module, and today we are landing on the HSL sliders. So this is another tool that I don't use for every single image, but it is a really helpful tool when there are problem areas within the image because of a specific situation. So I use HSL sliders mostly for when my clients are in um, grass areas or they're in nature. And sometimes that grass just really reflects a lot of green onto their skin and it just does not look true to life. So when I am looking in my HSL sliders, which are in the develop module, past the basic area, past the tone curve, um, then you have the HSL and color sliders here. So you can look at each color individually. I happen to like to see all of them at once. <laughs> um, that's just how I like to look at my HSL sliders. When I am trying to solve color cast on skin, I'm really looking at that orange and yellow area. So if I am noticing that it's super green on their skin when that just isn't how they naturally look, then I want to do the opposite of that. So I want to bring this orange down to uh, down towards the red scale. I really don't tweak it too heavily, but instead of going green, which you'll see, ah, man, so green here. So, so green. Just, to see, just Let's just look at the extremes here. The green is very, very green. If we went all the way down to red, it would be very, very red. So this is how it's starting off at zero here. So I want to tweak it just a hair. So I bring it down to maybe negative 10. And then with saturation, if um, it's a really bright day, sometimes the saturation of their skin is really heavy. So I will bring down the saturation just a little bit and maybe I'll want their skin to look a little bit more glowing. So I'll bring up the luminance, which just makes it lighter. Um, so it's just, um, let's do the extremes here. So super light, super heavy. Let's go back to zero here. So maybe I'll bring up the luminance just by plus five. So I'll also do that for the yellows as well. So maybe negative 10, maybe bring down the saturation just a hint and plus five. So that's generally what I'm doing when I'm trying to solve like a green color cast because of grass or trees around them. Um, that's normally how I neutralize that. If I really wanted to make the greens look a little cooler, I would bring the green hue up to that blue side here. So maybe plus 10. Um, and then sometimes I really like to bring down saturation and bring up luminance. It seems to be a theme for me. But that's how I tweak things just so, so slightly when I am in a super grassy area. When I'm in a reception space, depending on up lighting and different lights that the DJ is using, sometimes I really need to work on the oranges. So you'll notice that the floor is here orange, so it's going to bring color cast onto their skin. I didn't really feel like it needed any tweaks done, but if you're in like really orange and saturated, then I would maybe tweak the reds here to um, have like increased luminance to make them a teensy bit brighter, bring down the saturation a little bit, and I probably maybe would have um, decreased the saturation in the oranges and the yellows um, just to give this a little bit more of a neutral feel instead of a super orange feel. I'm basically just trying to neutralize the photo and because my style is very true to life, I do not have super saturated oranges and skin tones for me. For some people, they really, really love really vibrant orange in their skin tones. So, but this is how I would use the HSL sliders and why they exist. So you don't have to use them all the time, really just in problem situations where I need to neutralize something is when I go to the HSL sliders. It's a little bit more specific than going to color grading, which we talked about in a previous video, um, but HSL sliders really allow you to get into the nitty gritty of the yellows. I really want the yellows to be brighter. I really want the greens to be cooler, but not necessarily like change the saturation or luminance. I just want them to be cooler. So HSL sliders give you a lot of control and hopefully this will allow you to just really fix some problem areas when you're in tough situations. Feel free to comment below if you have questions about that. We are gonna be touching on some really cool AI features that have been popping up in Lightroom in future videos. So subscribe below if you want to look at all those cool videos that are coming up in the pipeline. 
and I would be so excited to see you there. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, otherwise, I will see you in the next video.